Friday night football, the big one this week, Springfield High, Sacred Heart Griffin. Some of the lusters off this one, though. Uh, absolutely. Springfield struggled mildly last week at, uh, at Glenwood. Uh, just really couldn't grab the ball, couldn't hang on to the ball, had trouble stopping the ball at times. 34-0 um, uh, loss to the Titans really sort of, besides knocking them from the ranks of the undefeated and out of the AP top ten, yep. you also have to wonder what it does to their confidence now they're going against a, an always tough SEC team. And it, they took they took a loss on the scoreboard and they took a beating physically too. A lot of guys banged up in that game. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, Patrick Doty will be uh, battling some injuries. Alex Kramer will be battling some injuries. Uh, I think uh, Johnny Williams might have uh, had a leg injury there toward the end, but he's Tough kid. he's, he's, he's he'll be play. he'll be playing. Uh, Tyrell Bolden may be a little bit dinged up too. Uh, on the plus side, it looks like SHU is finally healthy. Uh, if there's any questions about Eric Williamson's arm, he answered him against Taylorville last week with with ease. Nice passing game last week. Mm -hmm. uh, is, is, is Springfield, Springfield High is on the precipice of being a, a, a team to be reckoned with isn't the right word, but, but they made the rankings last week. Mm -hmm. They've got to win one of these games. They've Absolutely. got to cross this bridge where they they beat somebody that that they're maybe not supposed to. Absolutely, and. I don't know how you go about doing it, but the good news is, is that they have two shots. They've got they've got SHG. I think they finish off the season with with Washington, who's also unbeaten and number number three in Class 5A. So they're going to have their opportunities. It's just a matter of seizing them while they got them. And they're you know when the, uh, all odds are they're probably going to be have a, have a playoff run in, in front of them too. So the opportunity's there. They just have to go and get it. Secretary Griffin. You were there week one against Montini. I was. You see them progress. Are you seeing them becoming a better football team? I think what you're seeing out of them is finally they're they're finally becoming more balanced. Um, they threw a little bit, ran a lot more against Montini, and then the story up until last week for the most part has been the running game. Um, Gary Wilson, Greg Wilson, Greg Wilson behind that you know big talented offensive line, and they've just been doing damage that way. Now, I, what you saw against Taylorville last week. And what you might see against Springfield this week is the fact that, okay, yes, Eric Williamson's new, his receiving core is new. That might might not make a difference. Uh, he's still completing 78% of his passes, which if you can sustain that will be a state record for completion percentage, which long way to go not saying he can or he can't, but just saying he, he's taking advantage of every opportunity he's had to throw the ball. And just don't be lulled into thinking that if you load eight in the box, you're going to stop SHG because – as soon as they decide to air it out, they've proven more than, more than uh, uh, capable of doing that. And the receivers have grown up too. They have. They, they have done a really nice job. Uh, you, you've got guys. They all. They're so tough to tell apart because they all. You know. They're, they're all, all named Jake. They're all named Jake or <laughs> Williamson or Will or Smith. I mean, the names are just you know awful for newspaper people like us. But they, <laughs> but they all get open and they all seem to be about six two. The only notable exception is, is Zach Rockford. He's maybe a head shorter than the other guys, but he's. Obviously, getting four open. Four touchdowns last week. Yeah, four touchdowns last week. They all get open. They all work well. And the big thing is, is that Williamson has enjoyed lots of time back there. And when you have time, you can pick who you want to throw the ball to. And he's got a rifle. He may not have been able to show it as much. But when he throws the ball, I mean, you're not going to see a drop off from what you've seen in years past. Read all about it. Stay journal register. Watch it online www.sj-r.com.